Deputy Rigathi Gashagwa becomes the first ever Kenya deputy president to be impeached since the, the law of impeachment was introduced in Kenya since 2010. And Deputy Rigathi Gashagwa was outstated from office on Thursday after being impeached in an unprecedented political saga that has grieved the nation. In a historic move, the Senate voted to impeach Gashagwa on five of 11 charges after a similar motion that was overwhelmingly approved by the lower house national assembly last week. The vote capped a day of high drama which saw the empattlement 59 year old known as Rigi G failed to testify in his defense after being admitted to hospital with a severe chest pains. In a historic move, the Senate voted to impeach Gashagwa on five of 11 charges after a similar motion was overwhelmingly approved by the lower house national assembly last week and the vote capped a day of high drama which saw the embattled 59 year old known as Rigi G failed to testify in his defense after being admitted to hospital with severe chest pains he is the first deputy president to be sacked in this manner since impeachment was introduced in kenya's revised 2010 constitution his downfall is the culmination of a bitter falling out with President William Ruto, who he helped win a 2022 election by luring support from the vote-rich Mount Kenya region. The deputy has uh, faced multiple accusations. Uh, let's see them in uh, details. We're going to start with uh, the first one, a gross violation of the constitution, where the deputy president was accused of uh, persistently making alterses that threatened to discriminate and exclude Kenyans, the Senate upheld the charge, with 53 senators voting in support and 13 voting against. The second charge, accusing him of undermining the president and the cabinet, 28 senators upheld it, while 39 voted against acquitting him. The third charge, related to undermining devolution by interfering with the Nairobi City County government, 19 senators upheld it, but 45 voted against it. The fourth one is, is accusing him of undermining judicial independence through public attack on a judge. 51 sedent senators found him guilty, while 16 opposed. On the fifth charge of breaching his oath of office and alleges 49 senators upheld the charge, while 16 voting against. The sixth charge is related to inflammatory public alternances violating the National uh, Cohesion and Integration Act. 48 senators have held it, while 18 voted against. The seventh charge, accusing Gashagwa of committing gross economic crimes, including conflict of interest, abuse of office, and amazing property valued at uh, 5.2 billion Kenya shillings, he was found not guilty, with 14 senators supporting the charge and 52 voting against it. The eighth charge where Gashago was accused of misleading the public through false, malicious, divisive, and insightful remarks, he was found not guilty, with 27 senators upholding the charge while 40 voted against it. The ninth charge, which accused him of, of operating outside his high office by publicly attacking and undermining the work of the National Intelligence Service and its office, he was found guilty with 46 senators voting in support and 20 voting against. On the tenth charge, where he was accused of openly and publicly in subord uh, subordinating the president, the charge was not upheld. S22 senators voted in support while 44 voted against. Guys, now that Gashagwa uh, has been impeached as the president, uh, deputy president of Kenya, who do you think sweets that space? You can share your thoughts in the comment section down below and let us know.